Nation, I'm Sam here again with A Bear and a Bee Books, and today I have for you my fall TBR. Now, stay tuned because my Victober TBR either. Hi, honey. <laughs> my Victober TBR has already been posted or will be coming. I don't, I'm super excited for it. But for this video, I'm going to be talking about my fall TBR, which um, I think in my area of the world, fall runs from the 23rd of September through sometime mid-December. Um, I'll find out when we get closer. I think it's like December 17th. The first book I'd like to read this fall is Shadow and Flame by Mindy Arnett. And this is book two in what I believe is a duology by this author. I recently finished book one and I absolutely loved it. This is a fast paced YA fantasy. Um, it, it centers a lot around um, animals, but horses specifically. I'm an animal lover, so I really did enjoy this. There's also some drakes, which are dragon-like beings, um, dragon-like animals, I guess. Um, and there's a lot of magic. There's like wilder magic. Um, there's political intrigue. There's romance. There's a uh, battle. There's all kinds of stuff in here. So if you like kind of, um, like I would say if you like kind of like that princess bride, like everything in a fairy tale kind of feel, um, I would definitely recommend the first one. And I'm curious to see what I think about book two. Next for our witchy fall vibes, I decided to finally pick this up. Now, this is probably the author's most popular book. This is by uh, Catherine Howe, and this is the psychic book of Deliverance Dane. Now, I read her second book a while ago and really enjoyed it. It was funny, though, while I was reading it, it was kind of slow, but it's one of those books where I can still, and this was years ago, and it's one of those books where I can still kind of picture in my head different scenes and how I felt while I was reading them and to me um, that makes a book really excellent so um, I think that she does a really good job with description and though it may be kind of slow while you're reading it it'll definitely have a lasting impact and like I said I think that was her second novel but it's called The House of Velvet and Glass um, <laughs> would also be a good one to read in fall because it has a lot to do with um, the spiritualism movement and things like that and um, a lot of people back then had lost loved ones to um, the Titanic disaster of course and so a lot of people were turning to spiritualism to try to connect with their lost loved ones so I would recommend that one as well um, but I am really intrigued to pick up this one I'm originally from Massachusetts so as you can imagine um, I grew up interested in a lot of um, like the witch trials and just that whole kind of vibe so um, I'm curious to see what I think about this one next I will be doing a buddy read um, hopefully in November um, with my mom on this this is little women of course by Louisa May Alcott and there is a new adaptation being released I believe it comes out around Christmas or on Christmas and um, I've actually never read this I watched an adaptation many years ago when I was younger um, but I got this beautiful copy. Um, this is one of the classic sets that I collect. This is the Word Cloud Classics. And um, as you can see, it just has different words um, from the book included on the cover and then a quote on the back. And they're all brilliant colors and then they all have beautiful end pages. So I'm really excited to get to this one, not only because I love like having special editions but I want to read those editions as well and love both the inside and the outside. Next is some YA paranormal get in the Halloween season um, vibes. This is called Between by Jessica Warman and this is an older release. Let me see when did this come out? 2011 so here I got married been a while um, but anyway uh, this has to do I believe with being stuck in between. It's one of those <laughs> Hi, sweetie. I think it's kind of like a mystery book too. Like you have to figure out what's going on and why you're stuck there. Um, I don't want to know too much because it seems to me it's like one of those books that you want to go in not knowing a lot. Um, I remember being interested in this a while ago, a few years ago when I picked it up and I just haven't gotten to it yet. And I thought, what better time than Halloween? So here's to being stuck in between. 
Next, an author, my little brother, has been trying to get me to read forever, and I've read a lot of books, and for some reason, I've just never read this author, and that is H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, and I have this beautiful copy, um, the Lifetime Library copy, and I believe this is published by Sweetwater. Yeah, so this is The Essential Tales, and um, this has lots of wonderful things. So far, I've really just read the introduction, and I started reading the first um, story, but, um, you know, the mountains of, at the mountains of madness, um, the shadow out of time, uh, the whisper in the darkness. So, um, and of course the, um, main guy here. Um, but anyway, I'm super interested to check this out and I can't wait to see what I think. So far, I'm intrigued. Next are some read aloud options in my family. Um, I typically read aloud during the day um, for my daughter. We read one together for her naps, just her and I, and it's kind of our special time. And then at night, as a family, we also do another read along. So um, our family read along right now is Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk, and I have the whole trilogy of this. Um, I'm just showing the first one here. But I imagine through fall, we will probably get through the first and second, if not all three books. So I'm really excited. We're about, you can see we've started, we're pretty far through this. We did start this one before the official fall um, start, but we're definitely going to still be reading it since it is fall. And um, I wanted to show you since our plan is to continue with the trilogy, um, maybe once I'm finished, I'll do a review on the whole trilogy. And the other read aloud option we're currently working on is The Princess Curse. And this is by Mary Haskell. Um, this. I think I knew and then forgot and then knew and then forgot. This is based on one of my favorite fairy tales, um, though I need to read the original, but you know how like when you just know a story because it's just kind of part of culture, like you just know it. Um, but anyway, this has to do with the 12 dancing princesses and um, I believe that our main character is like an herbalist and she wants to try and help the princesses, but her father doesn't want her to have anything to do with it. And um, anyway, we just started it today and I'm really intrigued to see where that one takes us. Maybe it'll be another recommendation for the fairy tale -thon coming up. That is my short and sweet uh, TBR for fall. I really like to just kind of pick and go as I read. I don't like to have a strict um, thing to focus on. So when I make TBRs, I either make them short because I know it's things I really want to read or I make them huge because then I can just kind of pick and choose within that TBR. But um, for the fall, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I know those are books that I'm planning on getting to. Uh, hopefully that will happen. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you're all having a wonderful fall. Like most people here on booktube, it is my favorite season I'm so happy like I walked I, I live in Florida it's hot all the time and the first day of fall I took my daughter for a walk outside and it was just I mean even here you can feel the change I'm super excited for this year I hope it's a beautiful season and I'm looking forward to all these books so if you're new thanks so much if you return thanks even more and I hope that you're all having a wonderful reading year and thanks for being here with me today Farewell for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>